Hey guys, welcome back to Avena. Thank you so much for watching today. My name is Shayna and today I'm going to show you all about how I achieved this look. That's right, I did these box braids myself. It was super easy using a method called the rubber band method. Now, I know, sometimes when you want to get your hair braided, it's just simply not in the budget. <laughs> the workaround to that is to do it yourself. We've got a nice DIY for you today. Stick around if you want to know how I achieved this look and I'll see you at the end. All right, so for this process, I used the iRemi leave-in conditioner. I just didn't want my hair to get too dry. For my braiding hair, I used Zuri Brand Like Hair Braiding Hair in 1B. That is the color that matches my hair the best, or 1A, but they didn't have that at that time. Prior to braiding my hair, I sectioned my hair and I put it in rubber bands already. I did triangle shapes, well for the most part triangle shapes, just because I think it looks so cute when my hair is actually braided, but it takes a little bit longer because I'm doing these triangles by myself. Alright, so the trick to actually braiding your hair, actually it's, <laughs> it's not really a trick, it's just a technique. What I do is I take the hair and I make a loop. I loop the fake hair around my real hair. So that on two sides I have the fake hair and then on the other side I have my real hair. So take a look at how I get this technique started with this first braid. Also you'll see me separating the hair. When I measure my hair I just like to do it the same size as I have my real hair. So there I am preparing my loop, wrapping it around my real hair. On the left side you'll see the two strands of fake hair, on the right is my real hair. If you can braid, then you can braid with fake hair. That's all you have to remember is to make that loop and then start braiding like you normally braid. That's all there is to it. The rubber band method makes it easier because it keeps, your, it keeps the beginning of your braid tight. Whereas if you, didn't have a, if you didn't have a rubber band, then it would be a little bit looser unless you just know how to braid really tight with fake hair. In my case, I don't know how to braid very tight without the rubber band, so I like it for that reason. Now, when I applied the rubber bands to my head, I used two rubber bands and I wrapped them around pretty tightly. Now, I know that um, if maybe you're not wanting to have your hair as tight, then definitely don't wrap the rubber bands as tight. But I just did that because I like the way that it makes my hair very, very neat. And um, so that's why I did that. But you can use just one rubber band. I just use two because it feels more secure that way to me. What I'm doing right here is at a point my real hair stops and the fake hair is you know I have to accommodate one more strand with the fake hair so at this point you're blending in your real hair once it gets to the bottom of your real hair and adding in the fake hair and that's a very important step it's also it's also a kind of difficult step um, I haven't quite mastered how to 100% blend my real hair into the fake hair and not be able to see that that transition but you know what they say, practice makes perfect. Then I'm just going to braid my hair all the way down and continue. What you see me doing is separating the hair because what I found is that if I don't do this, then once I get towards the very bottom of the braid, it doesn't look as, I don't know, Braids obviously aren't natural, but it doesn't look, it just look, I don't know, I don't like the way it looks, so that's why I'm doing that. Um, but if you don't mind that look, if you even, if you can kind of imagine what I'm talking about, then you don't have to. Also, once the end of the braid, once you let go, it also helps it so that the braid doesn't unravel at the end. If you do that do what I was just doing by separating the hair then the braid won't unravel 
because if you don't separate the hair, the braid will start unraveling. You just have to braid it all over again. All right, so remember how I said there is a technique to mixing in your real hair when it gets towards the bottom of your real hair with the fake hair? Well, if you look at the ends of my hair closely, you'll see that that's where I have the most trouble with blending. Um, I think it's because of a few reasons. One, I think the main reason is because I need my ends clipped. So the poofier my ends are, the harder they are to try to hide in the fake hair. No matter how much conditioner I put on them, if they're split ends, they need to just be cut. And because they're split, they're frizzing up and they're showing in the fake hair. Now, because they are, now because my ends are showing, I am obviously not wanting to walk around with my real hair showing in my fake hair um, and it looks completely obvious so I do have some beads and things like that that I add to my braids that cover them so you don't necessarily see where my real hair meets the fake hair. So later on I'll show you where I put my beads and a few other hair accessories in my braids to cover that up and it's really like you can't even notice after I do that. So going back to the rubber bands and how you apply them, notice how the middle of my head right there is a little red and of course that is the tension from the rubber bands being so tight. So just keep in mind that you do not have to have your rubber bands as tight. Right here, <laughs> it's really hard for me to braid my hair when it gets towards the back so when I get towards the back I have to stand up and then lean forward and braid forward I braid better when I'm braiding forward or when I'm braiding on the side but for whatever reason I just cannot braid towards the back of my head so I start like that and then once I get the braid started then I braid towards the side but that's what works for me um, <laughs> if you try this and you get what I mean by I can't braid towards the back, leave a comment and let me know because I just can't do it. I've tried and I have failed. So my best bet is to lean forward like I just did and braid towards the back or braid forward in the back. All right, so I have finished with my braids. Once you get towards the end of your braids, you wanna start boiling some water in a pot. So I have done that, and now I'm about to dip the ends of my braids so that they won't unravel. Usually, I would just go right to the kitchen and dip my braids right into the pot, but for video purposes, I have brought a cup over to the camera and dipped my hair in the cup. I wouldn't suggest this because the water is very hot and of course, if you drop that cup, then you'll drop it all over yourself. So I usually lean over the pot. You don't have to leave your hair in the water for long. Um, immediately, whenever the hair touches the hot water, um, it absorbs it and it kind of shrivels up. Um, I guess that's the way that it looks. It looks a little bit more shriveled up. And then once it does that, then it is ready to be dried. And then, um, I so I just pat it down with a towel to dry it and then I really, I let it air dry. And then here, just go ahead and pat your braids down with your towel so that you can absorb the most of the water out with the towel. And then once you feel like it's dry enough, then just, I mean, it's not going to be completely dry, so let it just go ahead and air dry after that. And then you're all ready to style your hair. All 
All right, so I am all done with installing my braids and now it is time to add the final touches. Um, like I mentioned, there are some pieces of my real hair that are sticking out that I really don't like. So what I'm doing here is I'm adding some decorative string. It makes your braids look really flashy. I got a lot of compliments on my braids when I was wearing them like that. And I'm gonna be adding some beads. So whenever you're adding your string, you're basically gonna wrap the string around the root of the braid. Get it as tight as you feel you need it. It really doesn't have to be that tight as long as it's secure. Um, and then you're gonna wrap it around your braid. Now that little piece of string sticking out, no worries, I'm just gonna cut it off with scissors. Some people also bring that down as well so that you can wrap the string around that piece that's sticking out too, but, but I don't have time for all that. I'm just gonna cut it with scissors. Once you get towards the bottom where the string is just coming to an end, you have to secure the bottom as well so that the string doesn't come loose. So I wrap that around my finger, as you can see there. I use that circle so that I can make a knot and just tie it. All right, once I made my knot, then I had some string left over that I didn't want to show, so I'm cutting that as well. Then after I did that, I actually added a bead right there, so you wouldn't really be able to see the knot. All right, you can add as much or as little string you would like to add to your hair. I just did these two pieces up front because as you can see there, my real hair is starting to stick out and I didn't want that to show. So I feel like it was showing the most with those two pieces of the front. A little bit in the back, but I wasn't really worried about that since my the middle of my head, my braids were covering up the back. So as long as I was wearing my hair down, I wasn't really worried about the back. So you'll see that I'm starting out again with just wrapping it around the beginning of the braid and then just bringing it all the way down. On this braid, you can see my hair sticking out a little bit more, so I wanna show you the additional step that I'm taking by adding a bead right there. Once you add that bead, once you kind of disguise it a little bit, you really cannot notice the, the real hair that's sticking out with the fake hair. And again, this can all be avoided by just, I think I just need my ends clipped. I really don't know why so much hair is sticking out. The last couple of times I did my hair in these braids, my hair wasn't sticking out as much. So I really think it's because I need my ends clipped. All right, and that is the section where you see that my real hair is sticking out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a bead of mine. I'm grabbing, I think, a, a pretty big one so that I can wrap it around my real hair tight enough. See, there it is right there. I'm just gonna grab that bead. There you go. And go ahead and just secure it around the piece of my real hair that I want to cover. And there it is. You really can't even tell that that was a problem. And that's it. That is how I achieved this look using the rubber band method. Simple, right? And that whole look took me about four, four hours or so. Um, I braid really slow, so if you braid faster than I do, awesome. You'll probably, it'll probably take you about two or three hours. Um, also, one thing I wanted, a couple of things that I wanted to mention, the hair that I use, that brand, it was the cheapest brand in the hair store, but it was so smooth. Usually when I'm braiding hair, sometimes I run into trouble with the hair tangling up. I didn't have those problems at all. There were no tangles, and for $2 a pack, it's like pretty cheap, and it worked just fine. So if your concern is what 
pack do you buy? You can try the Ziri brand, that like hair um, style, and it was super easy to manage, no tangles whatsoever. So I was really impressed by that because when I'm braiding my hair and then I have to untangle it, it's so frustrating. And then your braids don't come out as nice. So I just wanted to mention that. Also, you heard me mention that I'm not as good as blending my real hair in with my fake hair, but this is just fine. You really can't tell unless I were to take this bead off and point it out to you. But um, I was just focused on the ones that are in the front. Um, there are some other areas around the back of my hair that are like that as well, but since it's in the back, I'm not really worried about it. So I just made sure that I covered the front up for you right there. So once I did that, it's like... So once I did that, you really can't tell that I had those issues that I was having when I was braiding my hair. So if that was a concern for you, get yourself some beads. Speaking of beads, girl, <laughs> when I went to the hair store, there were literally no beads. Like I know beads have made a comeback when there are no more. These beads, I literally only had like six left and these are the ones that are just from my own collection. I tried to buy more at the hair store and they were all gone. So shout out to all the girls with the beads in their hair because you didn't leave me any. <laughs> the string that I used for this, I also bought it at the hair store. Um, this, let's see what it said. Okay, let me see, can you read, can you read that? It is 100% polyester rope. I got it right there at the hair store when I was checking out. Um, it was about $2 and they had them in all different colors. I just like the gold one, but they had, I would say about 10 different colors. So try this out if you like the rope method. Um, if you have long nails like me, it's going to be, and my nails really aren't even that long, but they're long enough to where this caused some trouble when I was trying to install these in my head. So I was kind of over it pretty quick. That's why I could only do the two, <laughs> but um, you can always do more. Um, it's there's plenty of rope. I can use this forever All right, so the last thing is while you have your braids installed Don't forget to keep your scalp moisturized by spraying either spraying or oiling your scalp every single day It's so important for the health of your hair It's also important if you're growing out your hair like I am your hair is not gonna grow if you don't take care of it Even while it's in braids So don't forget to maintain your hair by spraying it with water as well spraying it with oil, however you manage your hair while it's not in braids. Try to incorporate some of those same things into your routine while your hair is in braids. Don't forget to wrap your hair at night. Take care of your braids like it's your hair. After all, it's on your own head. <laughs> so I'll probably leave this style in for about two weeks. Knowing me, probably about one week because I'll start missing my hair. But thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed and learned so much. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. My name is at SayShayNaTX. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Bye.